Hey, how you doing, Miss Chisholm? Oh, fine, fine, fine. Nah, that's all right. Hey, I'll find another job. Daryl? I just, uh, I dropped him off a while ago. He said he's going to run some errands, and then uh, I'm going to pick him up now. Yeah, I hope he's not up to one of his capers also. Anyway, you want me to tell him anything? <laughs> I'll take care of him. Don't worry about it. All right, Miss Chisholm. I'll tell him you love him. You take care. Okay, everybody, Mr. Bunch is on his way. We're going to get started. So why don't you take your robes off and keep the energy going. Great, you're here. Why don't you go on and take your place? Good. And a very good morning to you, ladies. Hello. Nice to see you again, Wendy. Well, a uh, little overdressed, aren't we? <laughs> Absolutely outstanding, my dear. Oh, me Tarzan, you Jane, eh? <laughs> OK, is it warm enough for you? Well, you're... Certainly warming me up. <laughs> Susan, follow me. The Jap. Move her a little to the left. Her name is Tana Wu, Dick. She's Chinese. Oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. Would you kindly ask the chink to move to her left? Joey, have Tana move to the left, please. Can we stop screwing around? Are we ready to do this or not? Chuck? It's Frank. Oh, whatever. Whenever you say, Mr. Bunch. I say, I say, I say. Damn thing's costing me a fortune already. Ready to roll. OK, everybody, this is a take. Um, Joey, Phil? Fog up the rooms. Ready with playback. Roll tape. Action on the set. In his wildest fantasy, he's certain you're the star. Relentless, a new sensation for the body. Hypnotic. Alluring. Downright uncontrollable. What the hell's going on? <coughs> what the hell's going on here? Hey, you! Okay. Who yells that arsehole? You two. Yeah. Go get that guy. Go on! Dick, this one looks like she needs to go to the hospital. Oh, God, as if I need that right now. Look, make her a cup of tea and... Call her a cab and call my attorney, just in case.
Where the hell did he go? Call Dick! Come on, Daryl, god damn it. Daryl, what's going drive, on? Drive, drive, drive! No, careful, you don't know what's in it. Easy, I do know. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here except an old newspaper, a crossword puzzle, and a stupid pen. Look, I wouldn't worry about it. It was probably just some dirty pervert looking to sell some dirty pictures. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't worry yeah, about fine, it. Yeah, fine, fine. Okay, we'll just get everything set up again because I want to go home sometime this week. You're so focused. Oh, did you get him? No. But don't worry about it. He didn't see anything. So, oh, shit. Forget that. Plane landed an hour ago, Dick. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, good. They're very pleased. Yeah. They want another shipment as soon as possible. Good. Well, that's fine. Well, there's <laughs> plenty to go around here, right? Eh? Yeah. Uh, did you get a chance to look at that video? What? Those uh, two girls for the hairspray spot? Yeah, yeah. They was, uh, they was both okay. Mm. Which one do you want to go with? Uh, well, uh, Manny, my man, that depends which one of them wants to, um, you know, with me. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, God, I love this business. <laughs> No, Daryl, no. I don't. I heard it the whole way home. I don't want to hear about it. Eric, you will not believe what I'm working on right now, okay? I am in the big league. I'm on I'm on top of the game. The last time you were on top of the game, it cost me 1500 bucks to bail your ass out of jail. Money well spent, if you ask me. Yeah, well, I didn't think so. I can't afford to do it again, especially right now. Anyway, Eric, don't worry about that, all right? I mean, you're one of the best admin in the business. You were working at the top agency in town. Yeah, until they gave the promotion to the boss's nephew. Well, their loss. I would have quit, too. Five years. Five years, Daryl. I'm telling you, man, the only way to get ahead is to go into business for yourself. It's always been my policy. So, what's your plan? I want to start my own ad agency. I figured I'll take, I'll take about a hundred grand. I'm just a little short. How short? About a hundred grand. Sounds to me like you're in the market for a job, huh? That's perfect. But that's why I'm here. I am on a really heavy case right now, and I need your help. No, no way, no way, man. Come on, at least turn no, me out. No, no, Daryl. Look, man, you're the one that should be out looking for a job. You gotta get out of this, this window peeping business. I like being a PI. Well, let me tell you something, man. That can be very dangerous, and you're not, you're not exactly James Bond. You're. I mean, you're kind of a klutz, okay? I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but... Who's that? Caitlin Montague, age 20. She's missing. I was hired to find her by her father, Monty Montague. Monty Montague, the billionaire? That's right. He hired you to find her. That's right. Right place at the right time. I had a friend on the inside, and I ain't gonna blow this one. What happened to her? They don't have a clue. She just disappeared. But in the last few days, I traced her steps to a place called Visions Advertising, and that's where all of a sudden, they end. Visions? Yeah, I've heard of them, they're sleazy. Oh yeah, 
Visions is owned by a guy named Dick Bunch. This scumbag has a criminal record a mile long, usually involving smuggling. See, I think he's back in the business and he's using this whole agency as a cover-up. What does that have to do with the missing girl? Here's how it ties in. See, I got lucky. I found one of her old boyfriends and he told me that she left him for a guy at Visions who promised her he was going to get her this great gig. He was going to make her a supermodel. But when I talked to the people at Visions, guess what? No one remembered her. They said that uh, they, they see a lot of girls. And what does this have to do with me? I'm going to need your help to find out what's really going on. How? Look, I need some inside info on these guys. And they just happen to need a guy in their creative department. You obviously need a job. It's a perfect match. No, 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 no way. Oh, Eric. No, no, man. And no, I'm not. Eric, you have the credibility, man. They will hire you in a second. It's for me, for me, please. No, Daryl, N-O. All right, look, I will pay you a hundred bucks, okay? Just go apply for the job, bug the office. What? Bug the office? Why, what if I get caught? God, Eric, you're such a pussy. You have a black belt. Yeah, I'll tell them that. I'll tell them that when they put the gun to my head. Eric. This girl is in real trouble, okay? I mean, he could really be saving her life. I'll pay you 150 bucks. Every minute counts. All right, all right. Just go make the appointment, all right? Ha <laughs> ha. I already did. Thanks. Hi, Daddy. I've been thinking about our talk. Maybe you're right. The smiling thing, uh, it just doesn't work me out. I'd like to talk about it on Thursday when we meet for lunch. Daddy, I miss you. Bye. I waited for her. Never showed up. She would have called me by now. I was going to make it all up to her. <sighs> it's all my fault. I don't understand how, sir. Stop telling me what to do. Uh -huh. This is not your decision. This is my decision. Caitlin, be reasonable. It's, it's the first time, Daddy, that it's not about you and your money. It's about me. The photographers love me. They love the fact that you're a Montague. I don't need your name to prove myself. Caitlin, Caitlin honey, honey. Now look, this, this modeling thing, what does it amount to? It's, it's, it's loathsome. It's, it's troublesome. It's mine with disappointment. Look, I made you better than that. You can't do this. You won't do it. Oh, yes, I will. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. All you're going to do is embarrass yourself. You're going to take our good name and make it... What? A punchline for Wall Street pundits. Pundits? You can't even talk to me like a real father, okay? Pundits! I won't let you make it out there! Pride. Pride and control. Tools to build an empire, with weapons to destroy a dynasty. I pushed her, and I pushed her, and she finally found the door. I'm afraid the worst has happened, and it's all my fault. How's that? She always knew how to get to me, right down to my soul. She defied me all through her teenage years. She taunted me with her parties, her drinking, her boyfriends. I tried to lead her towards a better path, but as always, she had her own ideas. We'll do everything we can.
I was so lucky to get this place right below Vision's office. The last tenant actually had a heart attack. He died right on his desk. <laughs> Is that luck or what? Here we are. Oh, check this out. Let me show you something. See this watch? Piano wire. This thing could do some serious damage. Here. Nuclear detonator? Aha! Uh -huh. Better. This pen right here is carrying about 100 cc's of metallorthine chloride. Hey, you just hold it to your mouth and blow. The guy will be out. 10 seconds flat. There. Hey, don't suck. Blow. Where's my bug? Where's my bug? Daryl, where do you get this stuff? P.I.'s Holy Bible. Where do you think the movies get their ideas, huh? Yeah, I should have known. Oh, shit. What is it? I don't know, man. The same guy was hanging outside Avalon Studios yesterday. Well, it's just probably a coincidence. You're getting paranoid. I could be wrong. Here is the bug, all right? It's on now. When you're ready to plant it, just peel the adhesive cover, and you're ready to roll, all right? Now let's synchronize our watches. Oh, wait, you gotta go. Time for the appointment. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now listen, I'll be with you every step of the way, all right? If it gets hairy, I'll be there so fast they won't know what hit them. You're a dangerous, dangerous man, Daryl. Believe that. Hey, make me proud, man. Listen, if you're so nervous about that pervert, why don't you oh, let me call the police? No way, do you hear me? No way, okay? okay right, I've got right. enough problems, all right? All right. right? Hello, girls. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. Just gonna spend a penny, you know? Visionary of visions. Well, Eric, I'm, I'm certainly glad you come across when you did. <laughs> Dude, what the hell is going on? Well, what does it look like, stupid? Some guy just tried to kill me. But get security. God, you are really incredible. Oh, so Susan, 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 that is enough. Um, actually, I'm, I'm your one o'clock appointment. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, Eric, if your if your advertising's anything like your street fighting, you're hired. <laughs> well, follow me. 
so you can get a grip. Oh, please, girls, go on, get back inside. Now, come on, everybody, back to work. What you doing? It was only a car backfiring. All right, you okay? Susan, put the kettle on and uh, get me a Valium. Take half a dozen yourself. So, uh, Eric, eh? Yeah. You've, uh, you've met Sam? No, not officially. Hi, Eric, I'm Sam. Thank you so much for uh, being there. Yeah, you're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> I just talked to security. Uh, they said he got away, but I'll have him go ahead and call the police. Okay? It's the right thing to do. Well, guys, if the excitement's over, I better get to my meeting. You sure you're up to it? Here. Feel my arm, all right? I'm fine, Dick. Thanks again. Oh, and good luck with the job. Thank you. Whew. Excitement like that, I don't need. America is so violent. Come into my office, eh? Yeah, take a seat. Whew. Well, let's see your portfolio. I mean, look, look, my hands are still shaking. So, what we got? Swiss mouthwash. Carnegie Insurance. Ooh. And uh, Fox Cosmetics. Yeah. Well, very nice, but uh, a little boring, eh? Now, let me tell you something about visions. We believe in getting down to the bottom line. Excite your public, make them want what you got, eh? And if the ad's a little uh, controversial, so much the better. So, uh, Eric. Let us now take a minute to uh, see how you think. Take this client of ours here. Ron Lee's World of Clown. Off the top of your head, what ideas can you come up for this? Uh, um, um, uh, uh, try another one. Just try, try another one. All right, then. Well, how about uh, Thermix medicated shampoo? Uh, the action starts when you get wet. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, very nice. <laughs> so what you got there, then? Hey, eh? what? What? No blue jeans? That's un-American. You see, Eric, we also represent the Growl Jeans account, and I'll tell you what. I want you to come up with a presentation for a whole new campaign for them. Hey, eh? what'd you say? Uh... Excuse me, guys. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Got to run. I just want to drop off these prints. That's fine. Come here. Come here. Eric here is going to work on the jeans account. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. You see, Sam is our growl jeans girl, right? aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, great. We're going to be working together. Mr. Bunch. Yeah? Can I see you for a second? Uh, no, give us 10 minutes. I'm afraid I can't wait. Give me a second. Sam. Why don't you and Eric make a plan to discuss our ideas for the product? Okay, All right? sure. Oh, hang on. Did you say you'd take the position? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Terrific. Listen, I'm up against the wall on this one. Yeah, everyone's shooting at me today. I'll need something by 10 o'clock tomorrow. Um... Tomorrow. Okay. Good. Okay. So, um, collaborate. Eric, you know, unfortunately, I'm booked solid today. It doesn't give us much time to get together. Why don't we get together tonight? My place. Your place? Uh, sure. Okay. 
How about 8 o'clock? Great. Yeah, I'll give you the address. All right. I love a pen. <laughs> now, what's the matter? Our Middle Eastern friends are in town. What? Well, Amir from London? Yeah. Well, what's she doing here? I don't know. They just said that they want to get together tomorrow at 11.30. Oh, but this is bullshit. Well, next time we're going to need some kind of notice. We'll tell security to put an extra guard on. Okay. Oh, Manny. Manny, have this guy, Eric, checked out. Make sure he's for real. Oh, oh man, that was great. I, I heard everything, everything. It was like I was there. Oh, that was great. Yeah, yeah, you son of a bitch. Where the hell were you? And you, you took the job? I can't believe it. Yeah, I took the job for my own reasons. <laughs> so I heard. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, you heard everything. It was like you were there. So what'd she look like? Huh? Come on, come on. What'd she look like? She was nice. Huh? She was very nice. Whoo, baby. See? See? I wash your back, you wash hers, huh? Everybody's happy. Shut up. You know, you failed to mention that somebody's trying to kill Dick. I didn't know. But this is exactly the kind of information I need. You know, you should consider working for me full time. Oh. What are you, crazy? Why is that so crazy? There's good money in this business. After you. And, and look at the progress you made in one day, man. One day, boom! We're already in and we are sitting pretty. Yeah, boom. I almost get shot, Daryl. And in the light of our camel jockey friends being in town, are they going to want the next shipment? I don't know. I'm not going to take no chances. I'm calling Abib to find out what the hell is going on. Yeah? Hello? Who's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, how are you? So I just want to ask you, uh, you know that now that uh, Amir's over here, do you still want the next delivery? You do? Good, good, good. Oh, really, I'm pleased. Now, I'm sure you'll be delighted with the merchandise. Yeah, yeah. Listen now, Kathy Juno will contact you, yeah. Yeah, she's leaving today on... Um, uh, Stellar Air Flight 336. Stellar Air Flight 336, which arrived in London at... 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Yes! Yes! We got him, man! We got him! Take care. You take care, too. Bye. So there we are. Business as usual. Well, that's good. So, uh... Oh, what time does the plane leave? 4.55 from McCarran. I can assure you, everything's been handled. Oh, I can't believe this. We nailed him, man. Like that. So fast. Hey, you got to admit, we make an awesome team. Yeah, well, how exactly have we nailed him? Yeah. Sergeant Harris, please. Thanks. What, does the house have to fall on you? Didn't you listen? I mean, she's delivering a shipment of drugs, man. They're using these girls as couriers. Why would, why would Kathy be running drugs? That's the rub. She wouldn't. You see, we bust Dick, we find Caitlin. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, Daryl. Listen, uh, got a little piece of information for you. Yeah, how'd you like to bust Dick Bunch? No, no, you know the guy I told you about last week? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, listen, there's a drug deal going down today at McCarran Airport, 430 Stella Airlines. No shit. Yeah, it'll probably get you those lieutenant bars you wanted. Okay. I'll see you there, 430. Let's roll, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit, where's Jack? Hey, that guy with the blonde, that's, that's Dick's buddy. And that must be Kathy. All right, when you land in London, there's going to be a guy to meet you there. His name's Abe Saphir. Mm -hmm. He'll get you your contact over there. And he'll also take care of all your arrangements, you know, your hotel, personal phone calls. Great. Whatever. OK. OK? Terrific. All right, then. I guess I'll see you in a couple of weeks. OK. Great. Thanks, Manny. Bye-bye.
Oh shit, he's leaving! Come on, let's get no, no, him! Daryl, Daryl, come on. Look, let's let's wait for the police to get here. We know where to find him. It's, it's her we're worried about. Jack! 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 Jack over here! What do you got, Daryl? She's right over there. We gotta grab her before she boards the plane. She? Who's she? I thought we were here to bust Dick Bunch. We are. She's his courier. Come on. So go over there and check see if there's any luggage. Come on, Mike. Uh, just a minute, sister. Ow! Let go of me! Daryl, we'll handle it from here. Please. We have reason to believe you have narcotics on your possession. We'd like to check your bag now, Mike. Oh. What? Hey, I'm gonna miss my plane. Where's that plane to, Miss Chanel? To London. For a job. I'm a model. And if I don't make that plane, I'm gonna be out of that job. There's nothing here, Sarge. Jack. Yeah, Bobby, what do you got? The woman said the only thing she's carrying is a bag. See? Jesus. Now, can I have my bag and go now? Oh, just a minute. Jack, please, what? please. I know that she's carrying, okay? Only an idiot would carry in her travel bag. And if you're wrong, Daryl? Jack, I'm not, okay? I will, I will stake my reputation on this, okay? We have to strip search her. What? Jesus Christ. You're nuts. I only have your word on this. Look, I'm gonna miss my plane. Jack, please. I have a very reliable source on this one. Like who? I can't divulge right now. All right, that's it. You wanna search me? Okay, fine. There. Is that what you wanted to see? Can I go now? Just give her the bag back. I'm sorry for the delay, Miss Janelle. I'm not half as sorry as you're gonna be when I call your captain. Jack, you let her go. Daryl, you see that ass? You think she's got a pound of cocaine stuck up there? I don't give a shit. It's the stuff coming in I'm worried about. Let's go, guys. Daryl, do me a favor. Stop playing cop and stop calling me. I don't get it. I, what screwed up? Someday you'll have to let me know. This is where I get off, Daryl. Uh... Ah! Tell them. Tell him, Caitlin. Ah! Listen very carefully, Mr. Montague. Daddy! Daddy! They say they don't want to hurt me. They want money, Daddy! How much? No police, no negotiations, no fucking around. You got that, Daddy? <laughs> Monty, I know what you're going through. Caitlin was like a sister to me. But these guys are gonna screw up, and when they do, that's when we're gonna make our play. I'll tell you exactly how we're gonna play it. Plain and simple. I'll pay. Don't you even want to discuss this first, sir? We have no time to discuss this. How the hell do you plan on getting $20 million together in two hours? I can do that. And by plain and simple, I mean just that. We do it exactly the way they said it. Monty, come on, be reasonable. <sighs> no police, no negotiations, no fucking around. I'll make the delivery. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Good, thanks. Yeah. Have a seat. Okay. Can I get you some wine? Uh, yeah, sure. Anything's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I hope you didn't come here for nothing. What do you mean? Um, I'm... I'm probably gonna quit. Quit? <laughs> You're joking. Why? See, I, I never intended on taking the job in the first place. But after I found out I was working with you, well, I, I changed my mind, and, and now I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> wow. I've heard some pretty wild lines before, Eric. <laughs> so, um, do you always interview for jobs you have no intention of accepting? No, it's, it's, it's a long, long, ugly story. Oh. Well, 
You'll have to tell me about it sometime. Does that mean I can see you again? You did save my life. <laughs> what, what the hell was that about today? I have no idea that. Nothing like that has ever happened there before. Well, I don't think Visions is a good place for you to be working. Well, that may be, but finding another job is not that easy. Besides, the Growl Girl is a huge deal for me. I need it. No, well, I don't. I don't need to work that badly. Eric. Bottom line, we are in such a tight deadline over there. If we don't turn in a pitch tomorrow, there's a good chance Visions will lose this account, and that means I'm out of a job. Well, that might not be such a bad thing. I know this sounds awfully selfish, but is there any way you'd consider staying on just to see this campaign through? It might be fun. What do you think? A couple days? A week? How bad can it be? Father, she's only the maid. She's no challenge. Let's go. Yeah, great. That's terrific. So, uh, before we move on, I'd just like you to uh, fill out this little questionnaire. You know, give us your number. Bet I know what yours are. 30, 20, 30, eh? Am I right? <laughs> just a little something we like to do to get to know you better. Dick? Wrong. Frank from Avalon Studios is on line three. Hello, Frank. How are you? I'm fine, Mr. Punch. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. I heard about the shooting yesterday. I, I just thought you ought to know. A guy came around here the other day. He said he was a detective. He wanted to know about a girl I used to date. This was probably stupid, but... I later realized I may have sent him in your direction. What do you mean? He was looking for your girl, Caitlin Ross. I told him the last time I actually saw her was... We argued. I left. Psh, she was using me. What guy from Vision? What's the difference? It's all water under the bridge. Look, I just wanted you to know in case uh, the guy who was shooting at you turns out to be the same guy. This guy? What guy? The detective. What did he look like? Oh, the um, short dude. About 5'5", five, five, uh, sort of dopey expression. Kind of muscular. Sound familiar? No, but, um, well, uh, thank you for calling. I, uh, appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure. Take care of yourself. Bye. So, finished? Right, well, I've, uh, I've got your number, so I'll, I'll give you a call when we've decided, right? Okay. Find your own way out. Good. Yes, Dick? Send Manny in here, right now. Okay. Hello, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Eric Denham, I'm here for the Growl Jeans presentation. Ah, the new kid on the block. Welcome, I'm Tom Rehnquist. Nice to meet you, Tom. Morning, guys. Hello, Sam. Thanks, Tom. You ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Everybody's in the conference room waiting. Take a seat. Caitlin Ross. Was you banging her? Dick, I don't know what Frank told Just you. Just give but me I an think... answer, yes or no. Yeah, I did. 
But let me explain to you what happened. What the hell do you think you were doing, eh? You're gonna jeopardize our whole operation, you worthless piece of shit! It was before I knew that we were gonna use her dick. And it just happened. How was I supposed to know that she was seeing Frank? She never even mentioned his name. But why didn't you tell me before? I don't know. Maybe because I knew you'd be pissed off. And she stopped seeing Frank. And you kept pushing to make the deal with her. So I figured the best thing to do would be forget it. Do the deal. Oh, cool. Man, you really blew it. Why? What's going on? Well, you tell me. Some gumshoes sniffing around the Avalon Studios. The Lone Ranger used me for target practice in the hallway, and now you with more balls than brains. God damn it, Manny! Next time you have an urge to use the casting couch, don't mess around with those girls. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Let's go and see what those guys have come up with. Very interesting, huh, little dude? Oh, sorry for the delay, folks. Hello, everybody. All right, well, I guess it's show tonight. All right, that's enough. Let's get down to it, shall we? Tom, what you got? A new 30-second spot for a diamond fair. Good. Oh, I know. Oh, it's so pretty. <clears throat> <gasps> that is so big. Oh, my gosh. You know, if I had one that big, I'd be showing it off, too. Look at the size of that. I have never seen one that big before. Oh, wow. That's yummy. Oh, my God. I think you'd let us try it on. Let's ask him. Can I touch it? Okay. In a woman's world, where the only thing that really counts is size, remember the jewelers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Very good. I like it. Good. Well done. Eric, you're on. <clears throat> okay, you have this, this beautiful, beautiful girl. She's in a blouse and growl jeans. She's ascending the uh, stairs. Smoke everywhere. At the top of the stairs, her man awaits, and he's got, he's got want in his eyes, as well as other places. As she gets closer to him. Yeah, 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 in fact, I want you to make a video of that right now in the studio. You make the arrangements? And uh, when you put it together, don't forget to keep in the bottom line, eh? What's the bottom line? The bottom line, yeah. <laughs> You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Oh dear, oh dear, I, I need an holiday. Tom, tell our boy what the bottom line is. Sex sells. Sex sells, Eric. Sex sells. And in one way or another, everyone's buying it. Thank God. <laughs> By the way, Dick, I've got this killer idea for the Thurman Shocks and Struts campaign. I'd like to use Kathy for it. Ah, uh, well, um, uh, Kathy's no longer with the firm. What? She was just here yesterday. Yeah, well, um, yesterday she quit. She's, um, she's gone off to marry to get Maryland. Well, maybe if we offer some more money? She is no longer with us. Just find somebody else. End of story. <sighs> so, uh, well, that wraps that up. I... <laughs> Christ, what are you doing here? Can you bring up the phone numbers from Dick's phone call to Habib? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I just overheard a conversation between Dick and Manny. Manny was the guy who was banging Caitlin when the engineer walked in on him. We're on the right track. Listen, get the international operator and find out what that country code is. Mm -hmm. Look, in Dick's meeting, 
Dick said that Kathy got on a plane to go to Maryland. We both saw her get on a plane to go to London. Yeah, uh, can you give me the uh, country code for 964, please? You want to know why there wasn't any merchandise on Kathy at the airport? Because Kathy was the merchandise. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean Kathy was the merchandise? Yeah. No shit. I mean, thanks. It was, it was the way Dick said, uh, sex sales and, and everyone's buying. Scumbag. I started thinking. He's got the perfect setup. He interviews all these beautiful girls for his ads. But they're, they're also potential goods for his other business. D do they live alone? Will they be missed? Mm -hmm. You'll never guess where that call just went to. Iraq. Oh my God. And Caitlin, Caitlin Montague sold off his merchandise. White slavery. No, Manny, with one thing or another, this week is really getting off to a crappy start. You know what? I forgot my cigarettes. Want to pull the car around? Oh, you right there. See what I mean? Crappy. Yeah, mate. Get us me car, would you? Thank you. the valet. Town's got its weirdos, huh? Dick, Frank from Avalon Studios just called. He don't want to talk to anyone right now. I can't hear a damn thing. Tell him I'll call him back. He, he doesn't want to talk to you either. He just wanted me to tell you to turn on channel 7. He said that you'd be very interested in what's going on. You better not be wasting my time. Caitlin Montague, who had moved out of the home of billionaire father Montgomery Montague, lived alone under the name Caitlin Ross. But it was only last night we learned of Ms. Montague's kidnapping when her father's chauffeur, Richard Barrett, was forced to the side of the road and shot to death. Apparently, arrangements have been made for a ransom to be delivered, and believing Montague was on his way from his mansion, the kidnappers tried to intercept him. Great. Okay, mate. Take five. <laughs> Miss Caitlin Ross. Hmm? I've heard some wonderful things about you. Thank you, Mr. Butt. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Dick. <laughs> I'm so happy to be part of Visions, Dick. It's such an awesome opportunity. Uh, so, uh, tell me about yourself. Um, well, I guess what I am is just a small town girl with big city dreams. <laughs> Discovering he was not in his car, but in fact coming from his boathouse, the kidnapper shot the chauffeur and then fled. Bury this film real deep. Yeah. Yeah, this one's for export. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Client's gonna love it. 
Manny, I want her out of here as soon as possible. Okay? Montague's maid, Lucy Pappas, who narrowly escaped death herself, later called police. She explained the confusion about Montague's whereabouts was due to call forwarding. That's nice. Yeah, that's real nice, Daryl. You're inside watching television. I'm outside getting my ass shot! Twice! One guy's got a bullet in him, and another guy's dead. I think it's time we get the cops in here. We don't want to do that. Oh, what are we supposed to do? Fly all over Iraq? Okay, the Montague is not in the middle. Police sources reveal that Ms. Montague's captors are demanding $20 million for her release. Under her alias, Caitlin was trying to establish a career as a model. Eric, she's been kidnapped. Oh, God. Daryl, what the hell is going on? Did Monty, does Monty, you know about this? Not until a few minutes ago. I mean, he, he just called and said that they, they contacted him last night and he didn't want anyone to know. He was just going to pay the ransom rather than risk her life. But things got all screwed up and now it's leaked out to the press. He's getting desperate. Did he talk to the FBI? Yeah, but I told him that they would just screw everything up. They should leave him out of it. Oh, and, and, and this man listens to you? Hey, at least we have something to go on, okay? We are closer than anyone on this thing. About Caitlin Montague's whereabouts, please contact the Las Vegas Police Department. You idiot. You were supposed to check her out. Don't do that, Dick. There's no way I could have known who she was. Now, if we could just... Oh, really? Well, apparently Amir was smart enough to figure it out. Look, just tell me exactly what you told her before you put her on the plane. The same exact thing I tell all of them before I put them on the plane. I showed up at her door. I told her she had a job in London. She was peeing her pants. She was so excited. I took her to the airport. I put her on the plane, and that was it. Eleven hours later, I spoke to Amir. He said that she got there safely. Jesus Christ, you were right. Dude, I gotta get Sam out of there. No, Eric, please. She, she's the growl girl, for Christ's sake. Don't, you'll blow our cover if you do that. So, obviously, she tells him who she is, figuring out that would be a ticket on. And then, then, of course, Amir, that double-crossing little midget, kidnaps her and then tries to kill me. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they try to kill you? Because you don't kill the daughter of Montgomery Montague. Bastard's rich enough to hunt you down for the rest of your life. I don't get it. Do you know what's going to happen when she gets home? She's going to tell the police how you and Visions tried to give her over to a bunch of ragged pimps. <sighs> oh, you got it now, have you? We know far too much. Yeah, I'm sure Amir figured he had no choice but to come on over here and kill us. Kill you. You was meant to be in that car too, Manny. Sir. All right. If they want to play hardball, so can we. That's, dude, that's the bug. Shit. Aw, oh, come on. Shit, Daryl, that's the bug. Eric, Eric please, man, I found the bug. It's cool, man. He thinks a mirror planted it. Eric, please, just stay with it, okay? Okay, we lost the bug. But this scumbag is gonna lead us right to Caitlin. I'm telling you, right now, it's time to bring the cops in. Man, no, we got these suckers cold. If anybody else comes in, they're gonna fuck it all up. Meanwhile, what if something else goes wrong, huh? Eric, please, I will get the cops in soon enough, I swear. But for now, let's just find Caitlin, please. Call Abib. Why? I want Amir's number in Las Vegas. I am going to draft a letter explaining our entire operation, including our ties to Amir. I'm going to put this in a sealed envelope, which you will and deliver to my attorney. I will then make it very clear to Amir how dangerous I am to him dead, which will make him... Dick. Susan, you are interrupting. Please sit here and um, they want to talk to you right away. I will be out soon. As I was saying, it will make him even more receptive to the idea of meeting with us. So, 
Get hold of Eric. I want this whole thing played down. We uh, give the cops a statement and then it's uh, business as usual. Got it? Got it. All the arrangements have been made. These are the instructions to the rendezvous point. You're to meet them. Hello? It's Dick Bunch. Hello? Hey. Hey, are you okay? You disappeared on me. Hey, man. Yeah, I was, uh, I was giving a statement down at the police station. Dick was convincing, bro. He gave him this uh, song and dance about how he didn't know anything, what was going on. Even I started to believe him. Well, what do you expect? Yeah, at this point, anything goes, huh? Well, I'm glad you're all right. Listen, I'm calling to let you know I'll be staking out visions tonight. If Dick's going to be making a move, it's going to be soon. You want to join me? I can't, man. Sam's coming over. <laughs> all right, well, I'll call you if anything goes down. Yeah, listen, you do me a favor, OK? You be careful, Daryl. These guys aren't having a pissing contest. Look, I will call you before I do anything, all right? Hey, we're a team, right? Absolutely, man. Okay, all right, hey, listen, someone's, someone's here, I gotta go. Okay, buddy, bye-bye. Eric, Susan told me what happened. Oh, I've been so worried about you. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Listen, I am. Um... Great King or not, I, I, I don't think that you should go back to Visions. I'm not. Just, I care about you too much. Okay. okay. I gotta go. I'm sorry. What is it? Uh, you know, my mom, she's been really sick. I told her to page me if she needed me. And, uh, okay. Just, uh, well. Bad timing. That's how I hope she feels better. Mm -hmm. I will. I think I'm uh, falling for her daughter. I'll tell her. Get that letter to my attorney. Yeah. Good. Now what? We go to the Palomino Club and we uh, sit tight. Why? Because they're going to contact us there to tell us where the actual meeting with Amir is going to take place. Oh. Okay? Well, let's go. And okay. don't look so nervous. Hello. Eric. Daryl. Listen, uh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. But... No, no, that's that, that's all right. What's going on? You all right? Daryl, you all right? Yeah. Look, uh, I followed Dick over to the uh, the Palomino Club. Do you, do you remember that guy that we saw outside my window yesterday in the parking lot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's here, too. What's he doing? So far, he's just sitting in his car, but... I'm sure that's just temporary. It just seems every time this guy shows up, the shit hits the fan. You know what I mean? All right, man. Listen, um, just sit tight, okay? I'm going to be there in 15 minutes. 
Thank you. Oh, get a grip, Manny. Everything's under control. Hello, darling. So what do we do now? <sighs> we wait. And we enjoy the entertainment. Okay. I'm glad to see I did not underestimate your ability to perform. I followed your instructions to the letter. Now where's my daughter? <laughs> your daughter will be back soon. That's not acceptable. Where is she? How do I know she's all right? If I'm not satisfied that she's all right, you're going back empty-handed. Yes. He wishes to speak to her. Uh. Daddy, I want to go home, Daddy. You all right? Daddy, please. I am so sorry. Now just calm down. I'm here. I'm taking care of everything. you home safe, I promise. <laughs> Your daughter will be home safely in a few hours. I'm going to tell you something, and I want you to listen very carefully. If my daughter is hurt or violated in any way, this money won't mean a damn. You have no idea what I'm capable of. going on? Nothing yet. Our friend is right over there. He's been camping out ever since he got here. I've been watching both doors, though. Dick and company are still inside. What if they went out the back?
like the others haven't shown up yet. Let's just stay out of sight and wait. Your mom's feeling better, huh? Look, I can explain, okay? This just isn't a good time. Well, that's all right. I don't think you need to explain. It's, I think I understand. It's not the way it looks, okay? Now, please, just get out of here. You heard the lady. Shove off. She's with me. Hey, look, man. Nobody's talking to you. So just keep drinking, all right? Eric, go home. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay? You're making a big mistake, buddy. Sam. You don't even know what's going on here. Eric. The car is waiting for you out front, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Time to go, buddy. You gotta leave. Look, this is my business, all right? You guys just get lost. Sam. All right, you wanna be tough, guy? Sam. Town car. You fucking nuts, man! Put that gun down! Not a chance, okay? I didn't want to tell you this, but just before Dick's car blew up, I saw your little sweetie pie here drive away with our mystery man. He's my partner! God. Look, Eric, I haven't been totally honest with you, all right? What happened between us, that was real, okay? But I'm not a model. I work for the FBI. <coughs> the FBI? Yes, it's true. I've been assigned to find Caitlin Montague and her kidnappers. Hey, how would you know about the kidnapping? Monty, you just released the information today. 
What are you talking about? Daryl here is a private investigator. Daryl, tell her who you're working for, man. If you're following the kidnappers, why, why are you chasing Bunch? Because the two are tied together. We've had Vision staked out for a long time now. We know Dick Bunch supplies a white slavery operation. In fact, we finally got the hard evidence we needed at the airport yesterday. We had agents on one of the planes to intercept the model, Kathy Junot. Some bozo almost screwed up the whole operation by calling the local police. Yeah, it's amazing how one jerk-off can spoil everything, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, Montague contacted us a week ago and gave us pictures of his daughter. We saw they matched the shots of a Visions model, Caitlin Ross. That's when I went in as a model. We knew eventually Dick would lead us to Caitlin. You know, I talked to Montague myself. He never mentioned anything about hiring a detective. He didn't ex you know, actually personally hire me, you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. What are you talking about? Well, you know, I was independently working for him, and then I was... Wait a minute, what do you mean, independently? I was trying to get the reward. The what? The reward, the reward, okay? The reward. There was a reward? <laughs> yes. The Montagues may not have been all that cozy toward each other, but old Monty still put up a million bucks to find her. A, mi a million dollars! A million dollars! Daryl, you told me 150 bucks! You told me you were gonna pay me 150 bucks! Damn it, where are they? Damn it! Bro, I was gonna split it with you 50-50. I just didn't want to say anything in case we didn't find her. I swear. Bro, it's me. What the hell are these guys doing? Uh, it's a long story, Ray. So what's the status? They just entered that warehouse. The backups are on the way. You guys stay here. In the meantime, I'm going to check things out. Don't move. Open it. <sighs> Mr. Charm. Stay here, guys. Now, we had a great relationship. I'm, uh, I'm very disappointed you decided to screw it up. Twenty million dollars is good enough reason to screw up a relationship, Dick. Montague's a very powerful man. Messing around with him could get you killed. His daughter will be returned unharmed. And talking of killing, you tried to do me in, didn't you? Oh, well. To cover your tracks, eh? <laughs> well. That was poor judgment on my part, yeah. Dick. Twenty million dollars is good enough reason for us to all disappear. Very, very rich, huh? Well, 
Well, personally speaking, I don't want to disappear. Once you let that girl go, she'll have every agency in the globe looking for us. Well, you're not calling the shots here, Mr. Bunch. Huh? Let us reason this out. That letter to your attorney would grieve us greatly. As would your sudden demise, huh? Uh, I'm sure we can come to terms. Don't count on it. All right, now. I'm the one calling the shots. You, move. Come on, Manny, let's get the girl. Yeah, she's in here. Okay, the girl dies. Yeah? And she'll have company. This is going to be hard enough. We need to work together. Don't bet on it. Manny, get the girl. Dickie's right, we need to think about this. Look, after the thinking, you dumb shit, just get the bitch! Go on! Don't even think about that, eh? Right? Mr. Bunch, what do you gain out of killing us? I'll sleep a lot better. Oh! No, don't kill him! The letter! Oh, that's right. The letter. The letter to the attorney, right. This letter. What, what the hell's going on? You should treat your people better, Mr. Bunch. When Manny found out the girl was Kate with Montague, he came to offer.
Eric doesn't have a gun. Who are you guys? Just stay here. Don't move a muscle, okay? Don't move. Caitlin. Caitlin, don't do it. He's not worth it, Caitlin. Everybody drop him! No, you, you don't understand. Yes, I do understand! Everybody drop him! Thanks for showing up. Give me that. Get over there. Move! Put it down! Get over there! You! Get over there by your friends. Get down. Sit, get down! Move. What do we do with you? Time up. Kate, you're scum. You don't want to do Kate, this. shut up. Manny, it's the best thing that ever happened in my life. Oh, sure. It takes someone real special to help you screw over your own father. I'm not screwing him. He screwed me. My father shut never up. gave a shit about me. So when he couldn't control me, he cut me off. Shut up! <laughs> Babe, you know what to do, right? You go down the road, you call the police, and you tell them you just barely got out of here. Kate! You with me? Yeah, Manny. I'm with you. You're sick. Pathetic. Shut up! Oh shit, hurry up! Time up, hurry up! We gotta get out of here! Now, Manny, that is really stupid. Drop those guns, or I'll drop this and blow us all away. Now, I want you to... I want you to... Got it! Silent. 
You give up the right to remain silent. Anything, anything you say I can say can, can and will be used against me in a court of law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah, well, let's do it again. Hey, hey, easy, easy. I'm a, I'm a free and hero. What? What? Easy, hey, man, hey, hey. easy. I don't think I'm forgetting about my reward. I mean, we, we got the money, we got his daughter back. It's not my fault she's a conniving bitch! Hey. Wow, impressive. You guys really did it. Yeah, thanks to the reward money. Daryl, I had no idea you knew a thing about advertising. Well, I don't, but what did I know about being a detective, right? Oh, thank God those days are over. Amen. Yeah, actually, Daryl's doing great. Just got us the Milano Tal account. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Which reminds me, you two crazy kids better hurry up and get going. We have an appointment with them at two. Okay, we'll see you, buddy. Bye, Daryl. Bye. So what do you want for lunch? I don't know. Where should we go? How about my place? Start with dessert. <laughs> 